Now let's look at your association with, um, I mean, obviously you can't talk about comedy in Ghana without mentioning some of the names. You have associations yeah, yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Obi and Ponsa, Lexi, um, Atupan, Atupan Fia Barcelona. Fia People Barcelona. even believe she's your girlfriend. It's not, it's not serious. She's not serious. Once in a while we sleep, but it's not. It's Once not. in a while you what? <laughs> oh, we sleep, we sleep together, but it's not serious. It's you not. sleep together? Yeah. Like how? We didn't die, we didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. Kasani <laughs> Ekano. Oh, two as a man, I would do it. Welcome to BTM Africa. My name is NYDJ. Thank you very much for actually joining us on the channel like you do all the time. And guess what? Today I have an amazing personality. I like to use the word amazing because we don't just bring you anybody. We bring you amazing personalities. And my guest today has my name. Uh, he's my namesake. He's also called Ebenezer. He's a well-trained professional uh, architect, but he does comedy as well, something he does so well and is taking him places, is opening several doors for him and he can't uh, miss any opportunity that comes with what he does, which he loves to do so much. If you were in Kumasi recently, you might have participated or have heard of an event that happened at the Kumasi City Mall. That's, I'm not fooling. I mean, it's, it's, it's an event that uh, took over the city and people kept talking about it. I'm like, a comedy show, you say, I'm not fooling. What is it about? His name is Ebenezer Jumo. But let's check this uh, a snippet of the performance of that event. And when we'll be back. Ebenezer Jumo is my guest on BTM Africa. It's basically just like rich people's aerobics. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never been to an aerobics class, you are poor. We say aerobics, say that idea. I think I'm quite excited now. Oh, it's your life. When you ask a guy in the question, he repeats it to you twice. He doesn't know. LGBT. LGBT. My name is Dear. But I'm sure they're teaching you to know how much Madam, you put the hydrochloric acid in the beaker and you pour the, the, the sodium oxide on it. And it will. So I told you, Ebenezer is my guest. Eben, Charlie, I hope you're doing very well. No, 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 what kind of Tunisia? What was it? Is that a new style? Oh, or you uh, just love it now? I said, make me a fresh. Oh, it's my fresh. But I'm pumping more. Like, naturally, I have that mohawk. Oh, okay. Ship. So, I made the Catania muscle. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Well, so I mean, I made mention of the fact that not too long ago you had one amazing show uh, here in Kumasi that is, I'm not fooling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it beat the expectation of many. Uh, for a lot of people, comedy in Kumasi was not, you know, top notch. But you changed that story, and it was not a one day thing, something you had been doing repeatedly. Tell us the story of. I'm not fooling, and how that came about. Yeah, so I'm not fooling. Um, my manager and I, we planned uh, my first three specials mm. together. So I'm, okay. I was writing the both specials at the same time. Oh. So it's, it's, it's like a trilogy. Mm. So special one, special two, special mm -hmm. three. So we did Seriously Joking in 2019. They wanted to do the second one in 2020. Mm. And then the COVID came. So came the, up, I'm yeah. not fooling, it's a follow-up to uh, oh. Seriously joking. joking. So I'm joking as a comedian, but with the acts that I'm doing as a comedian, it shouldn't be taken for a joke or like as a fool. Like mm. I'm funny, but I'm not foolish. Okay. So after doing seriously joking, they'll be like, "Hey, what Jimmy? Oh, and they cannot draw a line between funny and stupid. Mm. I don't know if you get it. Any name you say will be a comedy or Jimmy, and yeah. I'm not offended. Making but fun of situation. About situation, be oh, I say, oh dear Jimmy, nah. No, it's different. Like. Comedy is a profession. <laughs> when when Netflix is paying uh, Kevin Hart twenty million dollars for a special, mm. yeah, it's like, business. Like, so mm. I wanted to tell a story, original stories about 
me as a comedian and how serious I am about the craft. Okay. So it's a follow up to the seriously joking in 2019. Mm. But it waited because of the COVID the break. COVID. And then hopefully a third one will be coming. Oh, so do you have a title the, for the third one already? Yeah, well, I want to keep it. On the to, low for now. Yeah, yeah, on the low. But I'm still contemplating that. I'm not fooling. I, 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 I changed the topics, uh, the title several times before I eventually landed on okay. that one. So you don't want to announce I was going to call it the anyway. Joker. Where I spelled Joker with Jumo, the D W O K E R. Okay. I was going to call it the Joker. Mm. Then I was going to call it some other names, and I eventually landed on. I'm not fooling. I'm not fooling. Yeah. Did, did, I'm not fooling. Meet your expectations. Yeah, personally, it, it actually exceeded my my expectations. Mm. In the the production quality, the attendance, and the quality of performance for myself and even the the other comedians. Mm. Yeah. yeah mm. But how long how long have you been doing this? I mean, you made mention of. Uh, the first special that was in 2019 that was on KNUSD campus. Uh, I think that was Africa Hall, right? Yeah, Africa Hall. And um, fast forward 2022 because of COVID, you couldn't do it last year, but 2022 you do it. How long have you been doing this? Uh, the first time I mounted a stage as a stand up comedian was in 2016. Mm. So this is my seat here. Okay. As a comedian, I was just doing it on campus for fun. I roughly performed like just twice a year okay. at Tuskegee. Mm. and maybe a stage play on campus. I, I didn't even perceive myself as a comedian. Like, they need a guy who can do comedy, then they call me. So I, after performing, I forget I'm a comedian. And so somebody else needs me, and they call me. Like, mm. The person, ah, hey, Sam, you come, you're a comedian. <laughs> okay, remember. <laughs> so it was all for fun when I was on campus. Mm. And then in 2019, people were like, tell you, I've seen your performances. Wow, they should take this thing seriously. Mm. And people tell me, I'm like, wow, I mean, I'm in school to be an architect. Yeah. <laughs> Comedy there, but uh -huh. then it just kept coming out like, okay, let, let me give it a try. shot. So a friend advised me to do a show on campus before I complete school. Yeah. So that I can make good use of some, the, the yeah. fan base I had. So it was, until 2019, I started doing it professionally. Mm. Like, oh, friend, I'm <laughs> Like, <laughs> you can now send the rate card. I'm not out. fooling. If yeah. you call me, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like, if, if, if you're not ready, don't come. So professionally, 2019 to 2022, so professionally, just three years. Mm. But my first time was in 2016. Amazing. I think that's a beautiful story you shared there. And that, that actually brings us to the situation where people are on, on campuses or they are in school and uh, they, find it hard, they find it hard between perhaps a the talent they've discovered yeah, and yeah, yeah. what they are studying in school. You know, how, how challenging or otherwise was it for you, especially when you had to do comedy? And I mean, Akito, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, very, how are you balancing stressful. that? So I had to sacrifice. I had to cut off some, some things mm. because... Like then, chasing the girls and all that? Yeah, 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 I had to reduce it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I thought you were going to say, nah. No, no, no. no. Oh, I'll report you to mm. work home test of Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they want to hear. Because I'm a Pema, nobody will believe me. But because I'm a Pema, then they'll be happy. You know? uh -huh. That's, that's uh -huh. how people are. So, no, like EPO matches on weekends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, who um, say campus video games? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, but, but, and you be brave, sir, because mm. maybe I have a performance in the evening. Yeah. And I have to submit my assignment. Mm. So, I must finish the assignment before I can do. All those things because say if I feel they will, they will blame it on the architect uh, exactly. on the comedy. On the comedy, yeah. Our lecturers really like that when they know you are doing something, something else, especially if it is public, mm. and you feel oh, you at that, that that other time I saw you at the program you were performing, you haven't finished your work and you are performing, yeah. then you are yeah. presenting in front of the whole class and they will embarrass you. So mm. how to make sure they no no one ever had anything mm. to say about the comedy mm. because other people misuse their time. So yeah, will be compared mass people gamble people do different things yeah, people yeah. pass people go to the club mm -hmm. but if they, they don't pass the exam they will not say because he you went, went to, to the, the club, club yeah. but if i'm combining comedy mm -hmm. and i only perform on weekends yeah so how much of my time is going to is it going to take but i have to make sure even my parents will not use it as an excuse so me pay mm -hmm. they'll say stop it's taking all your time yeah. so i have to sacrifice other things so that i'll pass that means time. your parents were aware of what you were doing I hid it for them from them for two years mm. until they finally caught me. They, they finally caught, they you. caught me. Someone reported me. My uncle reported me to my father. <laughs> oh, uncle of way. And how, how did your uncle? He saw a poster. He saw a, a poster. Flyer. He saw a poster in town. I'm, I, I assume he was walking by. Hey, now I'm phoning me. Hey, what person said to me? Hey, do what? 
Yeah, Ajumo, and I don't have a stage name, you know. Mm. I use my, yeah, my, real, real, my real name. name. That's, my, that's my name, Ajumo. So he saw my image, he went closer. Ah! What for saying Ajumo? So he called my father. <laughs> True story. Oh. He yeah. called my father and told him to tell me to stop. Oh. He said, Oh, 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 oh you're crouchy. Crouchy, you mean. Mm. True story. Oh. <laughs> True story. I thought you're crouchy. The crouchy, you mean. Now, uh, and I was doing my master's degree as of that time. Wow. So interestingly, I was doing my final master's thesis and Organizing my first comedy, comedy show at the show. same time. Wow. So he called about just two weeks today. So he called my father to tell me to stop. Mm. He, and he, he, he called me to a shop at Adum and he asked me, he said, Oh, now organize a man called Faba Bejimi and I want a Ujimi. He said, If I'm organizing it, then it's a business. Mm -hmm. Then Kofaba is a Menyeska. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I almost lied that, Oh, me organize a man called Faba Bejimi. But mm. I told him to do that. It's my life, it's my future yeah, life. It's, something, yeah, it's a risk I want to take, so it should allow me. Then he called my father. Mm. So my father called me and asked me, Why are you coming in face? Hey. <laughs> no, I'm so bad, two years. Hey! And I'm not even that I would me. That was it. And yet, Jimmy said, stand up comedy. Yeah, that's still who I just told you, I'm not who Jimmy. So stand up. I'm still there. I'm not saying that I'm not there, but then he asked me, Who is it? That was a trick question. Yeah. If, if I shall make money, if he will stop giving me money. You have to pay your own fees. Yes. So why you doing my way? You tell If I start don't make money, to you tell me to stop. Now oh oh. And yeah, oh yeah, it's okay. You would me So I told him that oh, I had to give my answer in between. I had to be smart. I said oh, I feel I'm asking this. You can't say that. Hey, ni musa. I buy out me kwa ni amau transportation. Hey, who would me to give you the car? I mean, Jimmy Dickens, so, but that was what happened. And yeah. As long as I didn't feel uh, in, in school, he didn't yeah. have a problem yeah. with it. So he yeah. let me do. So after the event, I showed him the pictures, mm. like the place is full. And, hey, yeah. and then he saw mm -hmm. teacher called Joe David Agla and yeah. like, hey. And a few celebrities in there, you're like, hey. Then he felt like, yeah, he doesn't really understand. Something. Yeah, but he was appreciative like, or and proud If I'm of able you. to put all of this together, then mm. it means there's something, there's something to it. Good. So he, my parents are not still on board, like fully 100% on board. Though, oh, Because they now. are in Kintampo, they're not in Kumase. Oh, okay. I grew up in Kintampo. Mm. And my parents are still there. So they've not, not seen me. Yeah. They just see pictures and short, short videos. And... I think they will understand. But <laughs> they are just waiting for the yeah, money. They are, they are not stopping me. They allow me. Yeah. But they are not really, really on board. Mm. But I'll show mm. them. Mm. I'll they, show them. Yeah, like I'll prove to them. I know. It's easier to show than to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the, the vim and the confidence. If you just tune in, you're welcome to BTM Africa. My guest is Ebenezer Jumo. He is a professionally trained and practicing architect. He makes a lot of money from there. But he can't stop with his comedy. And that's what we are talking about today on BTM Africa. Now let's let's look at beyond the event you recently <laughs> held in Kumasi. That's I'm not fooling. I, I recently saw flyers of you wanting to take it to Accra. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I watched an interview where Chris Rock was, was um, Kevin Hart was interviewing Chris Rock mm -hmm. on his Heart to Heart. Okay. And he said one of the early advice that helped his career is Chris Rock told him to go and be funny somewhere else. So Chris mm. Rock, um, Kevin Hart used to be funny in Philadelphia. Yeah. He was like the Where king he's over well there. Known, yeah. yeah. And Chris Rock is like, no, you can't just be funny over here. Mm. Go and be funny in New York. Mm. Go to UK. Travel the world. So that is what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm mm. funny in Kumasi right now. Mm. I think I need to be funny somewhere else. Um, okay. Hopefully I'll be taking it outside Ghana. Mm. So after the show, people in Accra get a lot of comments on Facebook. When I bring it to Accra, we want to see you. Even though I've been on shows over there, mm. this is like taking my own show, yeah. my own special where I perform for an hour. So people who like me over there experience me mm. like for the first time. So I want to take it to Accra. Hopefully I'll take it to other places too. How special is a comedy special to a comedian? Yeah, that's a very good question. People still don't get it. When I say comedy special, some people will write about it or try to help me post and then they say special mm. comedy instead of a <laughs> comedy special. Yeah. They feel like maybe a comedy now, comedy now maybe a yeah, special. Yeah, special. I know, yeah. especially like a technical term for a comedian doing from 30 minutes upward mm. when they do a show for themselves. Okay. It's like the equivalent of an album. Okay, like an artist releasing an With album an and how album. special you mean? It's like an album and a concert at the same time. Like Sarko mm -hmm. doing Rapaholic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Sarko was doing Rapaholic, but then Rapaholic is him doing all the songs on jams. Oh, yeah. 
Mm, okay. Let's say he's doing all the songs on jams. Mm -hmm. So even though other artists will perform, they are waiting for the time he does maybe jams for the first time. Yeah. So that's what I'm adoring jokes for the first time mm. from 30 minutes. If it's 30 minutes, we call it a half hour special. Okay. And if it's an hour, Netflix, if, if you get a contract, um, Netflix or Amazon Prime, they want you to do an hour. Mm. So the Ghanaian comedians, we are training ourselves oh, with international standard. standard. Mm. They are just used to it. So a specialist me doing original jokes written by myself, performing for an hour. And ideally, the jokes should be synchronized. Okay. Yeah, if you want to do it proper, proper, special. Mm. If you have a theme, yeah. what you want to talk about. Yeah. And then it should be, even though there are different jokes, there should be some synergy between yeah. the jokes. And then you outdoor it to mm. a crowd for the first time. And then they Amazing. tape it. Uh, outside, they sell it. Mm. You can sell it to Netflix or yeah. whoever. Any other yeah. streaming platforms. Yeah. Amazing. You seem, you seem to know so much about, about this comedy thing. I mean, not to disrespect other comedians, but... How well will, do you really want to go with this? Because you, you are a practicing architect, like I said. Yeah. You make money from there. I'm sure you make more money from there than you do with comedy. Yeah, currently I make more money from architecture than I make from comedy. And you love it as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why learning so much about comedy and all that? That's a good question. I feel like we have to live, you know. Mm. Like, we have to live. Many people exist. Mm -hmm. But they're not living. Yeah. So they're afraid I want to do this. But what would, what would people say? Mm. I would like to. This is my dream. I really want to do this. I'm good at it. But what happens if I quit my job? What happens if my family sees? Mm. So they're not living. Mm. So they, I'm just going for it. So I'm enjoying the process. Mm. Life is not about the destination. It's, it's about the journey. Mm. It's the ride. So what else could I be good at? Why restrict, restrict myself into an office yeah. when a bed is safe in its box, but mm -hmm. it can't fly in the box yeah. or in the cage? Of course, it needs so to I, I want to fly. Mm. Today I'm doing comedy. Another day maybe I could be into design, fashion. I, I design my, my, my graphics, all my graphics myself. Oh, wow. All my flyers. So you're full creative. Yeah, I, I like, I, that's what I talk about living. Like, why not? I'm trying to experiment yeah. stuff, like all the potential. Yes. If I find I'm always learning, I'm always learning. Every day I'm watching tutorials on how to do this, how to do that. So mm. that is what it's about. And if it must be done, it, it must, must be, be done. Well. I'm not doing the, the flyer to cut cost, but I have a mental image of how I what want it want to, to be. Mm. I need to learn and do it well. Mm. If I'm doing the comedy, like you said, I have to learn about comedy. What is happening in the comedy world outside? Mm. Mm -hmm. People try to compare me to Nigeria. I'm like, Nigeria. That's not where you are I'm looking. trying to go to New York. <laughs> Comedy Central is waiting for me. Yeah. And you're telling me about Nigeria. I want to go to drive by in Canada mm. to go and perform. You're telling me about Nigeria. You're mentioning one of the I'll, biggest comedy yes. stuff. So I'll pass to Nigeria maybe, uh, but the end goal the is... The destination is to, yeah. Maybe something bigger than Netflix will come. That is what I want to be on. Mm. So that's, that's the dream. The dream is very big. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Now let's look at your association with... Um, I mean, obviously, you can't talk about comedy in Ghana without mentioning some of the names. You have associations yeah, yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Obi Amponsa, Lexi... Um, Atupan. Atupan. Fia Barcelona. Fia People Barcelona. even believe she's your girlfriend. Oh, it's, not, it's not serious. She's not serious. Once in a while we sleep, but it's not. It's Once not. in a while you what? <laughs> oh, we sleep, we sleep together, but it's not serious. It's not. You sleep together? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like how? We didn't die, we didn't die. No, hold on. Kasani, I can't Oh, two, I said, my job today. We sleep together. Oh, we record podcasts together, so it's late. She'll sleep over. To Nenada. I feel like I'm watching this. We know what that. Please. So we sort of, where she sees this, we sort of. Don't, don't take her serious. He's not fooling, mm -hmm. but don't take her serious. <laughs> don't take her serious. Uh, uh, Afia has been very helpful to mm. Minecraft. Um, we have Jokeska, that's my personal comedy production company. Yeah. So we used to pro produce podcasts for foreign companies. Mm. And I, I used to work in an architecture firm. Yeah. So sometimes I couldn't go for mm. my meetings and mm. stuff. And Afia would do that for me. Okay. So if you see Afia and I on screen and we are taking pictures, we, yeah. Afia helps me write my jokes. Oh, I mean. When I write my jokes, she reviews them for me and she mm. gives me killer killer points like mm. I no can I say. Mm. Take this out. Do you know I have this Lumba joke, but that my Lumba punchline. Yeah, yeah. She she showed me how to do a certain part that very 
crucial to the joke. Mm. So it's more than just taking pictures. People think, oh, I'm sleeping with. No, it's just like way, way more vulnerable than yeah. than yeah. that. Mm. So it's deeper than that. Deeper yeah, than that. She, she attends my meetings for me. Oh wow. Yes, oh. Uh, she can send. They used to pay us in euros for the podcast. Yeah. So it's deeper than. Yeah, but, deeper, but we cannot be putting everything out there. Of course, so of course. sometimes if you have a performance, I co write her jokes. Mm. So we are working in your brave piska. We want to take Ghana community to the world, literally. So that's what I fear does for me. And Atopan, mm -hmm. Atopan is like my godfather. Mm. Yeah, I, I, the people don't use that term rightly. You know, we are godfather. Hey, yeah, godfather, we here. Or per five cities, so <laughs> godfather. <laughs> that, but Atopan sacrifices for me. I have a show. But why to power go and connect me to some TV station, radio station, mm -hmm. who will interview five call. Wow. I didn't even ask him, like yeah. he just put in he, the t shirt I did for the, the VIP after yeah. paid for it. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, how much is it? Oh forget. Oh uh, saying after power will never take the money. Mm -hmm. uh, after power performs for me, the money I'm giving to the comedian, he will never take it. Wow. So the love is deeper than yeah. 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 So and Obi inspires me, Lexi. But we have that unity. I'm, 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 well, I'm lucky. I mm. came into the comedy in an era where it's rising and yeah. the unity is there. People. I was, I was going yeah. to ask you how, how they actually accepted you into it and how you're able to bond like that. Because obviously, you know, when, when you come into a space, there are people who are seen as gatekeepers, there are people who are seen as omnomoyo or gano and mm. they don't want to, you know, associate. But you seem to have had it quite cool with them. Comedy, I don't even have gatekeepers yet. <laughs> Any gate. <laughs> so we don't have a gate. The industry is still growing. Growing, yeah. So we are now building mm. the the house. Mm. So we don't have a, a, a gate wall. Yeah. So maybe finally when you have a gate, mm. then people will keep it. So I think it's being kept by the big ones. Okay. Like DKB. Mm. Yeah, but they, they help us. Okay. Instead of them to fend us away, they rather encourage oh, us, they put closer. us on. So that's what we have for now. So mm. Now, we are about to wrap up, but let's let's look at the event you have in Accra. Um, when exactly is it happening? Uh, what should people expect? Is it going to be a continuation of what happened in Kumasi? Is it going to be... Uh, how, how different is this one going to be? Um, this one is more intimate. The first one, we had about... <clears throat> more almost intimate, as in you're going to have sex? Hey, Dabi. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, finally. No, no, no. It's more it's, intimate. It's, um, the environment is cozy. It's the place is smaller, just 150 cozy. people. Cozy. Yeah. Okay. It's still uh, oh, no, about no, three man about three. Like, like, <laughs> so it's um, the place is smaller. Okay. Yeah, and then the lighting and it's very very romantic and then it's everything. Yeah, setting the, the tone for a wonderful night. Yeah. Amazing. It's classy. Amazing it's, um, grace. <laughs> <laughs> it's that sound. The romantic day. Yeah, the amazing grace that way. Yeah, we said the night is going to be an amazing night. Amazing. Oh, okay, uh -huh. okay, okay. So, and then we've changed the performance slightly. Okay. The only um, people who will be there is uh, from the first one, it's Atopa and Fia. Okay. And then, yeah, this time we'll have be, uh, we'll be, we'll be on, on, and then there's PJ. Okay. There's yeah. our guest in Dennis. Co that's Kojo PJ, right? Yeah, Kojo PJ. Okay. And then our guest in Dennis. Mm. And General and Tatia. Yeah. So, Another amazing guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this time it's like just more intimate. Mm. And everyone, everyone is like close to the stage. Okay, you're gonna yeah, draw yeah. them closer. Yeah, draw me near. I know. Yeah, yeah do. Of course, sorry. Of course, sorry. Oh, somebody, <laughs> just a friend, isn't it? A real room. One can't tell me something. I'm sorry about. Did you? Oh, me catch you. Home. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's my church member actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's. I can't carry it to that same one, but anyway. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> so yeah, that's how this one is going to be. It's more class, mm. less people. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And it's happening in November 19th. November 19th, yeah. Okay. What at is the Virtual rate? Hub. Virtual Hub. At East Legon. Okay. Mm. Virtual Hub, East Legon. East Legon. How much are we supposed to be paying? Um, just for 100 that? cities. 100 cities, okay. Mm. That's, mm. that's, mm. that's mm. even less than $10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Russia and Ukraine won. Nah, nah. Can you say I'm and everything? So, and for the first time, we don't have physical tickets, just e tickets. Okay, so you need to purchase online. With a short code. A short code. Mm. 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 Star 928. Star 531 hash. Hmm. Star 928. Star 531 hash. Ghana and Kwane Mao short code, so you're watching one number. <laughs> How they short? <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but that's how you have to. So, you hmm. buy it and you get um, a, notif um, a message. Okay. Then you show the message hmm. at the gate. There's okay. a link that can lead to a barcode. Then you show it at the entrance and then. Okay, so the scan is then. But drive, you have a talk, 
take it to full no and then worth it and after the total can be far a car that be could be here you can see it's not worth it your peace of mind so just use the short code to buy the ticket and okay. then okay okay that's that's how easy you're able to get your ticket so you become a part of this amazing event that's coming off November 19 2022 in Accra he said it's happening at the virtual hub. Virtual hub. On the MTM building, the first floor. Okay. Then just by the road. Mm, what time yeah. is it? Yeah, we are starting at 6.54 p.m. 6.54 p.m. Yeah. You come in with that time thing. <laughs> 6.54 p.m. And I like yeah. the fact that in Kumasi, they give a particular time and it started right on yeah. time as well. So they are very particular about their time. So if you, are, if you intend coming out, which I will treat all of you to actually go out and check this comedy special, you would really fall in love with me and at least have a new addition. If you've not watched him yet before, you can actually add a new um, a character, a new artist to your, to your list so that you get to check him out as well. All right, so um, one thing before we go, you talked about the fact that because of comedy, when people see, they assume that who uh, one can saw man say, and now say as soon as the person sees, even when you are talking about something serious, oh, yeah. you comedian, how how do you take that and how do you live with that? Does it happen often though? Yeah, it happens often. Mm. Like I've accepted it, it's, it's cultural because mm. uh, uh, like the indigenous Ghanaian comedy mm -hmm. is. Um, yeah, the, the character has to make a fool of themselves. Yeah. That is how comedy started. You have to look funny. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, uh, compared to maybe Europe, the comedy is here. Yeah. I think of something funny yeah. and I say, it doesn't yeah. matter how I look. You don't even have to see me. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is funny. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah no. Maybe I may say, trousers can see me. Maybe be built, be in my year. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Like how it started, no. Mm. Because of the literacy rate of that time, it worked. Mm. Uh -huh. But it is growing uh, it's drifting away from it but yeah. unfortunately no yeah culturally no, I, it's not here you've not moved totally, not away totally from moved it. so we, once comedian is attached, attached to your name you have a fan say we will be a wedding mm. uh -huh. that is how people perceive it so i understand the background so i'm okay with it what can you girl be like i don't know so i drink so die them out they're rough now my 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 girlfriend when i told her i like the took care about what like a week to and so I'm me to know if it's not a joke. And to accept it, so I'm me out. Uh huh. Hey, me to tell, me to tell. Hey, what I say? Like, why would I do that? That is not part of the. Mm. Oh. Hmm. I want to go to a lady pregnant because you thought it was a joke. You did what? I got a lady pregnant. You thought it was a joke. You got a lady pregnant. Yeah. And the lady thought it was a joke. joke. And say, so, ah, I told her. Me ni manana, me ni. Me me pay. So what the one who agro no. <laughs> then I called her, she came to she sat on my bed. Hey, what am I to do? I say, what am I going to do? I undress. Oh, you're my tired. You're not going to grow up. I know you're my tired. We're having sex. I say, you're not going to grow up. Hey, hey, hey. She didn't believe it was hey. that. She thought it was she, that. I said, what am I going to do? I'm going to grow up. That's not how comedy is. Like, when I'm on stage, I'm mm. doing comedy, but my life doesn't really have to be comedy. Yeah. It's a joke, by the way. Please. Yeah, I know, I get it. I've I not got, gotten anyone pregnant. <laughs> Bro, guess, no, Jumo guess, lady pregnant as a joke. Yeah. I, didn't, yeah. I didn't do that. Oh, but I get that a lot. No, what about my girl? So it was true. She thought I was kidding. Oh, wow. I have, to talk, I have to use a straight face. So I'm the only one who proposed to a lady with a straight face, Nepal. <laughs> then when I'm going to answer. <laughs> so that she knows it's serious. And if I smile, she would think it's a joke. Interesting. So I have to show her that I'm not fooling. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. Guys, my guest has been a business at Jumo, and I'm pretty sure this is now to tell you who he is when he gets into character and is ready to actually deliver to make sure that he puts a smile on your face. Eben, thank you very much thank for you actually. Very much for I know this has been long coming, but finally we did it, and I'm yeah, grateful yeah, yeah. that you're here with the us. The timing is perfect. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, so that's Eben Ezra Jumo, and he has his YouTube channel as well. And his socials. So yeah, for yeah, those who yeah, want to yeah. actually, people want to subscribe, they want to check you yeah, out so and all that. Yeah, so it's Jumo everywhere. Mm. Okay. Ebenezer Jumo and my at I'm going to say my handles. Your handles, yeah. It's Jumo 2008. Jumo 2008. Mm. That's D -W -O -M -O -H, on. W U O M O H 2008. Every social media platform. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and I have a podcast called Names of Talkatives. Mm. 
So you can check it out. Names of Tokachi's podcast everywhere on um, podcast streaming platforms. Yeah. Amazing. Guys, I'm pretty sure it's been fun and it's been exciting on today's edition of BTM Africa. My name is NYDJ. Drop your comments and let us know if you enjoy this. And please tell us who you want next on the show. And we will try as much as possible to get the person onto the show. Have a fantastic day. Big shout outs to Bellucci for working on this. And of course, to everyone who is behind and working on production. Have a fantastic day.